unboxing some rare, funny animal history. Stay tuned. Hey, it's Jamie from Dragon Ink Comics. Welcome back. One area of Golden Age comics, or one genre, should I say, that I feel like is highly undervalued still is the funny animal genre. Unlike crime, horror, superhero issues from this era, these books are relatively cheap and they are scarce. Books like Animal Comics No. 1, which is the first appearance of Pogo Possum and Albert Alligator, are hard to find in any grade. And they've slowly trended up in value, but they've quite lagged behind other key issues from the Golden Age. For that reason, I think scarce Golden Age funny animal comics are a good way to enter the Golden Age if you're a new collector, and you can pick up some really cool keys. This cover is also by Walt Kelly. So Walt Kelly invented the character Pogo Possum and Albert Alligator. Walt Kelly's style is very cartoonish, and this cover and the interior art is by Walt Kelly. This cover, which actually has interior art that sort of looks like this by Walt Kelly, was actually done by H.R. McBride, and it is very unique. And what's cool about Animal Comics number one so if you see, it's a wraparound cover. One of the sad things about having books with wraparound covers is that you very rarely can display the whole cover because you'd have to turn it around, which is kind of a shame because as you can see, the back of this cover and the front are really neat. So what I have here, which I'm about to unbox, is a golden age wraparound funny animal cover. Let's see what it is. Okay, oh, it's upside down. <laughs> what I have here is I have a cover of Animal Comics number one that I got off eBay. I only paid like $40 for this. What's so cool about getting covers for rare books is that you can get them pressed, framed, and that way you can display them like cover proofs. So this, again, this cover is so freaking cool. And this, just looking at this, this is probably from a book that would have been like, I don't know, 1.5 or something, but just look at that. Look at that in terms of a display. What not that fun? I have a question for all of you out there. Who would you recommend as a presser that will press this flat so that I can then get it framed? Please put your recommendations in the comments below. Again, I want a presser who will be able to press this flat, okay? Now, this of course has some significant defects. You can see that there are staple holes and things like that, but overall, the colors of this are really beautiful. You can see there's almost like no tanning at all. It's just really pretty and clean. So this is, a again, a, gonna be a great thing to press, to put up on my wall, and that way I can display an Animal Comics cover for everyone to see, and I don't have to like worry about like screwing up a comic. What do you all think? Have you guys ever bought covers before and displayed them like this? I think it's just a fun way to decorate your office, especially if you're a huge fan of Golden Age comics. All right, that's all I got for today. Please subscribe to the channel. Please comment below. Please like the videos. And of course, happy hunting. How do I get this back in the goddamn bag? Oh, shit.